Hello, this video is about arterial blood sampling in the newborn. Arterial blood sampling should only be performed when an arterial blood gas is required, when venous or capillary blood sampling is contraindicated, or when previous sampling techniques have been unsuccessful. Contraindications to arterial blood sampling include infants with coagulation defects and or infants with thrombocytopenia. The preferred sampling sites are typically limited to peripheral arteries. The most common sites are the radial arteries and the posterior tibial arteries. The ulnar arteries and the dorsalis pedis arteries are viable alternatives. The brachial, femoral, and temporal arteries should be reserved for extraordinary circumstances and even then should only be performed by individuals with advanced training. The equipment required for arterial blood sampling is as follows. Chlorohexidine or betadine solution to sterilize the insertion site and surrounding tissue. Typically, betadine is utilized on infants weighing less than 1,000 grams. Chlorohexidine is utilized on infants weighing greater than 1,000 grams. Please refer to your institutional guidelines to determine which agent is appropriate. A 23 gauge or 25 gauge blood collection set, a 3 ml or 5 ml syringe for aspiration and blood collection, gauze pads to tamponade the hemorrhage when the sampling is complete, a pacifier and sucrose solution for pain control measures. The extremity must be assessed for collateral circulation by utilizing the Allen test prior to an arterial puncture. To perform the Allen test, elevate the infant's hand and simultaneously occlude the ulnar and radial arteries at the level of the wrist. The goal is to temporarily impede blood flow. The fingers may blanch because of the interrupted blood supply. Release the ulnar artery while occluding the radial artery and observe for color change. Do not puncture the artery if reperfusion exceeds 10 seconds. Delayed reperfusion indicates inadequate collateral circulation. A modified Allen's test should be conducted on the posterior tibial artery and the dorsalis pedis artery to assess for collateral circulation before a lower extremity arterial puncture is performed. The wrist is stabilized and placed in the neutral supine position. Be careful not to hyperextend the wrist as this may occlude the vessel. Cleanse the insertion site and the surrounding tissue. Puncture the skin and penetrate the artery at a 15 to 25 degree angle with the bevel down. Or, puncture the skin and penetrate the artery at a 30 to 45 degree angle with the bevel up. The shallow approach is recommended in the preterm infant. If the initial puncture does not yield any blood, palpate the artery above the insertion site. Be careful not to contaminate the insertion site. Adjust the angle of the blood collection set until blood flow is achieved. Leave the end of the blood collection set open to air until blood is identified. Then place a syringe on the open end of the collection set and gently aspirate the required volume of blood. The infant's identity was assessed by utilizing two of the approved JACO identifiers and blood collection necessity was confirmed with the medical provider. In addition, oral sucrose was administered two minutes prior to initiating this video recording and administered intermittently for continuous pain control during this minor procedure. When the blood collection is completed, remove the collection set while simultaneously compressing the insertion site with sterile gauze until hemostasis is achieved. Be certain to assess for appropriate peripheral blood flow at the completion of the procedure. Peripheral arteries can be located by palpation or transillumination. The palpation method was demonstrated in this video.